Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. Detroit police need your help tonight in the search for a local nurse after they say she was kidnapped outside a Detroit hospital. But we begin with the weather as we head into Mother's Day. Thank you for joining us. I'm Will Jones. And I'm Pamela Osborne. Let's get right over to forewarned meteorologist Ron Hilliard with a breakdown of what we can expect for tomorrow. Ron? Pamela and Will, tomorrow we will be looking pretty decent for Mother's Day. And right now we are already looking better than we looked earlier today when we had those rain showers moving through the area. This is our exact track 4D radar and it is showing nothing. No rain out there right now. So across the area right now, we do have the cloud cover. That is the view into downtown Detroit from Windsor. It is 62 in Howell and Detroit. Pontiac coming in a little bit cooler, 58, 65 still in Adrian. So what are we expecting for the rest of the night? It's going to be mostly cloudy. We are pretty much done with the rain showers tonight. If you come across a stray sprinkle, don't be surprised about that. Tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy and Again, a chance of a few sprinkles out there. And then tomorrow night, we do have those clearing skies. We are going to be seeing those temperatures slightly cooler as well tomorrow before we see those temperatures warming right back up. So if you want to track the chance of those sprinkles along with us and also getting the hour by hour forecast, all you have to do is download the forewarned weather app. You can get your accurate forecast for your neighborhood and it is always watching always tracking. You can get it on the Android or on the iPhone. Just search WDIV. Developing tonight, police are searching for a local nurse after they say she was kidnapped outside a Detroit hospital. Police say 29 year old Patrice Wilson was last seen around 740 this morning after near Detroit receiving hospital. Jacqueline Francis joins us live. Jacqueline, police simply want to bring Patrice home safe. That's right. It's been over 12 hours now since Patrice Wilson was taken and police say there are no updates to report on this case at this time. We're told she was getting in her car in a parking lot when a man jumped in, pushed her aside and took off with both of them in the car. The search continues in the kidnapping case of 29 year old Patrice Wilson. Police say she was abducted around 740 Saturday morning. The local nurse had just gotten into her car in a parking lot near Detroit Receiving Hospital when a man jumped in. And he approached our victim as she was getting into her driver's side of her vehicle. He then got inside of the vehicle, forced her over, and fled with her inside. The suspect, 36-year-old Jameer Miller, is considered armed and dangerous, although police wouldn't go into detail about whether he was armed at the time of the kidnapping. Police do believe the two know one another. We're thinking it may be domestic related. A photo of the vehicle the two took off in was also released, showing the black 2020 Lincoln Nautilus. Police are asking for your help in bringing Patrice home safely by coming forward with anything you see or know about the case. We're asking and we're actually seeking the safe return of our victim. If you have any information, you're asked to call Detroit police or submit tips anonymously at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Hopefully someone comes forward with information. All right, thank you, Jacqueline. New at 11. Friends and family come together tonight to remember the victim in a deadly shooting at a Detroit gas station. Gregory Carlos Samuel Fortner Kelly was one of three people shot last week at the mobile gas station on West McNichols at the lodge. Police say the men were trapped inside of that gas station during a dispute between the clerk and Anthony McCray. Kelly died from his injuries. Family members say they are trying to cope with a huge loss. Here it is, Mother's Day. My, my, my cousin's only son, and she has the very only son, and it's right around Mother's Day. This is not a good feeling, you all. And I would like for you all to keep our family in prayers. And he literally died for stopping at the gas station. Anthony McRae is charged with murder and attempted murder. A DPD cruiser got smashed in a car wreck while on the side of an overnight investigation on the lodge off of Wyoming. No word on any injuries, but as you can see, the crash did cause some damage to the front end of that cruiser as well as the side. The officer's airbag also went off. We didn't see another vehicle on the scene there, but the situation is a cause for drivers to slow down. 
A Detroit mail carrier is okay after nearly being hit by gunfire. It happened this morning as she delivered mail on Pacific on the city's west side. We're told a dog tried to attack the carrier. Neighbors say someone on the block saw what was happening and fired shots at the dog, but almost hitting the carrier. The dog was hit, though. Animal control was able to take the dog in. No word on its condition. Police are investigating. The city of Detroit gets a response from the U.S. Census Bureau after challenging its 2022 census numbers. Detroit filed two challenges. One said the count shortchanged Michigan's largest city by 8% of its occupied homes, overlooking tens of thousands of residents. The 2020 census found 639,111 Detroit residents, down from its 2019 population estimate of 670,000 and 52. Detroit succeeded only with its group quarters challenge, adding 1,478 more people in 61 quarter groups. Detroit plans to challenge its annual population estimates through a separate program. The city of Farmington Hills is helping its community get in the spring spirit. Today, the city's beautification commission held its 25th annual plant and seed swap. The idea is to bring your extra or unwanted plants and seeds and trade them with someone else for a plant or seed you do want, all for free. The event is also held in the fall to wrap up the gardening season. A free medical clinic catering to Bosnian immigrants and war refugees was held today in Clinton Township. And this was actually put on by Bosnian American health officials, but it was a recent University of Michigan graduate who came up with this idea. The graduate says he attended an education seminar by a cancer biologist who also happens to be Bosnian and was inspired from there. One of the biggest things that inspired me to go to medicine is, per, is really just my community. Uh, looking at how many people, again, with this education, how many people lack the resources that we need. It's easier when someone who speaks your same language, they can explain it to you in a better way. They know you, they know your culture, they know why you do certain things. The event featured all kinds of specialists, from dentists to cardiologists to social workers. They hope to have another clinic next year. Getting a helping hand in the classroom. We'll tell you about the new program that's showing students how to apply math to everyday life. And the writer's strike continues to impact some of your favorite TV shows. What we're learning about a TV game show talk, uh, taking a stand rather to show support for writers.